Look at this picture. Can you spot which woman plans to go home by bus? This woman left her coat in a car, while the second woman is probably waiting for the bus. Can you identify which woman has spent more money on her home than the other just by looking at their rooms? This room belongs to the woman who spent less money. She bought her furniture at a big discount. Look, you can still see price tags here. Kelly, Jackie, and Nancy are having weddings on the same day. Can you spot what dress is the most expensive? Although Kelly's dress looks fantastic, it's several sizes larger than she needs. She must have bought it at a sale, and there were no other sizes left. There are stains and holes on Jackie's dress, so it must be secondhand. Therefore, Nancy's dress is the most expensive. Let's check how good you are at spotting small details. Which bill is fake? This bill has an obvious mistake. What about these two? Can you spot a fake? This one. The portrait doesn't belong here. What about euros? Can you see any difference? This bill is fake. Its design doesn't match the original. Now check these bills. This one is fake. Look at the words. They don't belong here. Diana is a young and ambitious entrepreneur. She wanted to find investors for her business project, but she spent all her savings on research and didn't have enough money even to afford a ticket for a business conference. So she climbed through the toilet window. The conference manager caught her on camera and sent a guard to one of the rooms where Diana might be hiding. Help the guard determine which woman is Diana. Look, this lady's the only one who doesn't have a conference bracelet on her arm. A police officer noticed a criminal getting out of a window. The officer followed the criminal, but he was running too fast and managed to hide in one of the neighboring houses. Help the police officer identify where the criminal is hiding. There are no fresh traces around this house. No one walked around it for a while. There's a family in the second house. It would be impossible for the criminal to blend in. So, the criminal is probably hiding in the third house. Look at this house very attentively. How many ghosts do you see? That's right, 13. Susie decided to do a huge cleaning in her house. When her brother Tom returned from the gym, he screamed, ran out of the house, and began to dig in the garbage. Susie has accidentally thrown out his stuff that he still needed. Help Tom find these items in the trash. That's right, here they are. George and Vera went to a flea market. They are looking for a certain antique lamp as a gift for their grandmother. Help them make the right choice and avoid cheating. This lamp fully corresponds to the photo they have. Can you spot a ghost at this stage? It's hiding behind the curtain. Fred got a puppy and brought it to his home, which he shared with four other people. Six months later, Fred left for a weekend to visit his parents. When he returned, the puppy was gone. 
he questioned his roommates. Lily said she had spent the entire weekend at her boyfriend's place. Jack said he'd been allergic to animals and couldn't stay around them even for an hour. Henry, who was to take care of the puppy, just couldn't find the pet in the morning. Who's lying? Jack, how did he live with the puppy for six months with his allergy? Can you guess the country? China. Can you guess the country? That's right, it's Belgium. Can you guess the country? It's Spain. Can you guess the country? Japan. And one more. Can you guess this country? That's right. That's Iceland. Lisa and Mia are two sisters who usually spend their vacation together on the beach because they adore surfing. But this time, they decided to go on a secret snowboarding adventure in the mountains right after Mia's birthday. The sisters didn't say a word to their family and friends. Soon after, they arrived at the ski resort. They disappeared. The police examined the car and found some gifts for Mia. Which gift is suspicious? Leah's gift is suspicious. Nobody knew that the sisters had headed to the ski resort. Can you read this quote? It says, either you run the day or the day runs you. Tim woke up in a creepy house. The wicked witch was making a potion in the kitchen. She saw Tim and said, here's my dinner. Take a seat, I'll be back in a minute. Tim began to look for the exit and found three doors, but there's something dangerous behind each of them. A hungry wolf hid behind the first door, an evil vampire was standing behind the second door, and the third way was covered with fire. Help Tim escape safely. He needs to grab the garlic and walk through the second door. Garlic will scare away the vampire. Jill and Christy were jogging in the street. Suddenly, a taxi drove past and splashed both of them all over with water from a muddy puddle. The ladies decided to finish jogging for today, said goodbye, and went to do some laundry. Look at the picture attentively. Can you spot who of the two ladies is rich? Jill is rich. Her clothes say Prada while Christie's clothes say Brada. Can you see any number in this picture? It's 217. See? Well done. Jake threw a birthday party for his brother Gregory, but when he went to the kitchen to grab the cake, he saw a creepy note in the fridge which said, there's a ghost at your party. Jake ran to the living room to check the guests. Can you help him spot the ghost? This woman over here doesn't stand on her feet. Can you read this? It says Matrix. Jane woke up in a creepy laboratory. A mad scientist said, I'm gonna let you go if you make the right choice, and showed her three doors, but each door hid danger. Behind the first door, she saw poisonous gas that will make her unconscious in five seconds. The second door hid acid that burns everything out in five seconds, and the third door hid a pool with water infected with a dangerous virus. Which door should Jane choose?
The third door. She can walk across the water on her high heels without touching the water. Look at these people. Can you place an apple in such a way so all the people but one see it? Where do you place the apple? Do you see any secret spots in the room? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. You don't need any special spots to fulfill the condition. Just place an apple on someone's head. Let's have a brief personality test. Can you see any weird elements in this picture? What detail did you notice first? A. A snowman holding a mug with a hot drink in its hand. B. A skier wearing a diver's costume and mask. C. A peacock hiding in the snow-covered trees in the background. If your choice is A, you're probably a very practical person. You have the talent to create a cozy and beautiful environment for your friends and family. If you choose B, you're smart and witty. You know how to invest your money and time wisely and dedicate yourself to really important things. And if you spotted the peacock, you're probably attracted to mysticism and art. You have a great imagination and unusual talent to see the details that other people don't see. Let's play a brief game. Answer these questions and see the results at the end. Would you rather have tattoos all over your body or have piercings all over your body? Option A gives you 10 points and option B gives you 20 points. Would you rather breathe with fire when you speak or breathe ice when you speak? If you chose A, give yourself 20 points and B brings you 10 points. Would you rather have your own spaceship or have your own planet? 20 points for A and 10 points for B. Would you rather have none of your dreams come true or have all of your dreams come true at once? Option A brings you 10 points and option B 20 points. Would you rather laugh uncontrollably when sad or cry uncontrollably when happy? 10 points for A and 20 points for B. You're very responsible, but anxious, or you live one day and trust your instincts. 10 points for A and 20 points for B. Do you care deeply about everything around you, or do you act and win without any doubts? 10 points for A and 20 points for B. You're ready to fight your corner, or you never show when you're hurt. 20 points for A and 10 points for B. Now. Let's count your results. If your score is between 80 to 120 points, you have a calm and grounded personality. You can settle any conflict and bring peace, which is why your friends love you very much. It seems like you were born to lead, be responsible for others, and make things done. 120 to 160 points, you love adventures, and adventures love you. People admire your bright personality, even if they don't show that. A job in the field of entertainment, art, and tourism will be the perfect choice for you. One day, Jessica went for a walk in the forest, but took a wrong path and got stuck in the land of monsters. Several uh -oh. orcs started chasing her, and she needed to hide somewhere. Suddenly, she spotted some places where she could hide. She needs to choose from three options. A pyramid where a furious mummy lives, a haunted house, and a vampire castle. Where should she hide? Jessica should choose the castle because it's daytime and the vampire will be asleep. John went back home from a two-day business trip. When he entered the house, he saw a police officer. He said he had come half an hour ago because there had been an alarm in his house. John didn't believe him and called the police. Why? When John was driving up to his house, there was no other car outside. If the police officer had been real, there would have been another car parked nearby. It means that there's a thief in disguise in the house. Two days ago, someone broke into Mrs. Robinson's house and stole the expensive jewelry she oh, hid no. in a secret place only a couple of people knew about. These were Emily, her friend, 
Jerry, her cousin, and Alice, her niece. The following day, someone left a note in Mrs. Robinson's mailbox. It said, It was D plus 1, L plus 1, J minus 1, K plus 1, Z minus 1. Who stole the jewelry? It was Emily. D plus 1 stands for the letter that follows D, which is E. L plus 1 stands for M. J plus 1 stands for the preceding letter, which is I. K plus 1 stands for L. And Z minus 1 means Y. Jack works in a hat store. A hat there costs $10. A customer liked the hat and wanted to buy it. He handed a $20 bill to Jack. Jack didn't have the change, so he asked another shop assistant, Mary, to go and make change in a nearby store. Mary went back and brought three bills, a $10 bill and two $5 bills. Jack handed the change to the customer. Sometime later, the shop assistant from the nearby store, Ellen, came to the hat store and said the money Mary had given her was fake and insisted on giving her the money back. Jack had to return the money to Ellen. How much money did Jack lose, including the price of the hat? Jack lost $20. He gave $10 as a change, and the hat cost $10. You don't need to count $20 he gave back to Ellen. He took that money first and then gave it back, which makes it zero loss for him. A red apple costs $1, a green one costs $2, and a blue one costs $3. What apples and how many of them did Jamie buy if we know he spent $3 and two bills only? Jamie bought a green and a red one. He paid a $1 bill for the red one and a $2 bill for the green one. Yeah, he could have grabbed the blue one and given the same two bills, but have you ever seen blue apples? Harry loves different kinds of bets. Every time he meets his friends, he has a new one. Last weekend, he suggested a challenge. He said that he could place a cup in the middle of a room and easily crawl into it. Nobody believed that he could do that, so Harry's friends were sure they would win. Still, Harry won the bet. How did he do that? He said he could place a cup in a room and crawl into it. He didn't mention whether it was a cup or a room, though. So he crawled into a room and won the bet. Anna left a shopping list for her husband, Jeff. There were only two items, but she decided to prank Jeff a bit. So she didn't write exactly what he needed to buy, but wrote two riddles. The first item in her list was full of holes, but still could hold water. And the second item had four fingers and a thumb, but it wasn't alive. What was Jeff supposed to buy? Jeff needed to grab a sponge and a pair of gloves. Andrew went hiking to the mountains, but all of a sudden, an earthquake started. He fell through a narrow tunnel into a large pit, where zombies live. Luckily, Andrew has three different elixirs that could help him. The first elixir can make him grow in size, the second elixir can make him fly, and the third elixir can make him invisible. He only can drink one elixir. Which one should he choose? He doesn't need to grow in size because he won't make it through the tunnel if he does. The zombies living in the pit can hear and smell, so they'll find him even if he's invisible. He should choose the ability to fly. It'll help him get back. A notorious bad guy caught William, a wealthy businessman, and locked him in a room. I won't let you out until you double the money I leave for you. And the criminal put $3,000 on the table. By the time he returned, William had already doubled the money, but he hadn't left the room or talked to anyone. How did he do that? He put the money in front of the mirror. Two friends, Eric and Angus, decided to play. 
On the table, there was a plate with 11 green apples and 7 red apples. Eric was blindfolded, and he needed to grab some apples without seeing them. How many apples should he take to make sure he has two apples of the same color? The total quantity of apples on the plate doesn't matter. The main thing is that there are only two colors. So if Eric takes three apples, there will be at least two apples of the same color for sure. Three students, Amanda, Lisa, and Mark, were having a party the night before an important exam, so they weren't ready for it. The following day, they called the professor and asked him to reschedule the exam. They said they got a flat tire on their way to the university, which was a lie. The professor agreed to reschedule the exam, but he said that if he finds out they were lying, all of them will get an F. The students agreed. Some days later, when Amanda, Lisa, and Mark came to the university to pass the exam, the professor gave them an exam sheet with one question only. The students were sitting far away from each other so that they couldn't cheat. When the professor collected the sheets, all the students got an F. What question was it? The professor asked the students which tire got flat. They weren't ready for it, and all of them had different answers. Ashley invited friends and cooked a delicious dinner. When everybody was at the table, she suddenly realized one of her friends didn't like the meal. Who was it? It's Chris he secretly shared his pasta with Ashley's dog. The police got an anonymous letter about an upcoming heist in one of the museums. To stop it from happening, they need to know the month the heist is planned for. The letter had a secret code. The police couldn't crack it, so they brought it to the detective. What month is the heist planned for? It's September. Star stands for S, pear stands for P, and rain stands for R. There were only three letters in the code, but September is the only month that has the letters S, P, and R in its name. There are 20 floors in the apartment building. The higher the floor is, the more people live there. Which floor does the elevator go to most often? It's the first floor. The residents of all floors go down to the first floor. The other day, Mary was rummaging around her grandmother's attic when she accidentally stumbled upon five short chains, each made of four silver links. She thought it would be great if she combined them all into one big chain of 20 links. When she went back to town, she brought those tiny chains to a jeweler. He told her it would cost her $5 for every silver link that he would have to break and then reseal. How much will the chain cost? Mary could do that for $25 if she told the jeweler to break a link in each chain. However, she asked the jeweler to break all four links in one chain and use them to attach the other chains together, which cost her $20. Stephanie got hungry and wanted to boil a two-minute egg. She had a 3-minute hourglass timer, a 4-minute hourglass timer, and a 5-minute hourglass timer. How can she cook the egg for only 2 minutes? When Stephanie sees the water boiling, she should turn the 3-minute timer and the 5-minute timer over. When the 3-minute timer runs out, she needs to put the egg in the boiling water. She'll have two minutes left on the five-minute hourglass timer. Victoria and Ethan were on vacation. One day, Victoria told Ethan she couldn't go to the beach with him because she was feeling unwell. When Ethan came back to the room to grab his wallet, Victoria was gone. He found her by the pool and asked, Are you alone here? She nodded, but Ethan immediately realized she was lying. How?
There were two glasses and two portions of ice cream on the table. You open your eyes and find yourself handcuffed in a small, dark room. Your sister is not with you, although you clearly remember walking outside together in the rain. Well, it seems you were kidnapped and now have to get out. You have to solve some riddles to escape, and each time you'll have 10 seconds to think. Are you ready? First, how about getting rid of these handcuffs? You turn around and see three buttons on the wall. A red one, a yellow one, and a green one. One of them will set you free. But if you choose the wrong button, sirens will sound. But, lucky you, there's a note on the wall saying T-D-U-N-O-R-T-E-B. Decide which button you should press. Since you put the letters in the right order, you'll get the red button. Since only one button releases you and the other two are traps, the sign indicates the one that will set you free. You press the red button and the handcuffs fall off. Phew! The first step is complete, but there's more to go. You'll have to find your sister, release her, and then find a way out. You search for the exit. But there are three doors, so you look through the peepholes to decide which route to take. Behind one door, many little robots are poised to attack. Behind the second door, there's a room on fire. And behind the last one, you find a room completely filled with water. Which one should you pick to stay safe? The first one. Although there are robots, they're still super small and probably can't cause you much harm. Well, at least definitely less than the fire or water. So you take a deep breath and with your heart skipping a beat, you enter the first room. The robots attack you, but the first one has a giant red button you step on and it turns them off. The second one you kick really hard and it smashes, hitting the wall. Half a minute later, you're already outside the room, safe and sound, all body parts intact. Success! But what if the robot sent a signal to the people who kidnapped you? You have to hurry. You move forward, crossing the corridor, and here it is again. Three doors, and you have to decide which one to pick. Think carefully for 10 seconds. It can save you a ton of time if you go the right way from the very beginning. So which way should you go? The third door. There's a red finger stains on the doorway. Your sister must have been trying hard to break out. You take that door and find yourself in a narrow hallway. You can see the stains here and make absolutely sure you're going in the right direction. You run for about 20 minutes, continually taking turns. You start feeling a little dizzy, but still can't see an end to this hallway. Another 5 minutes pass. You take another turn and suddenly crash into a metallic door. You try to open it, but it's locked. On a little screen, a red sign appears, asking for a password. Below, there's even a password hint. 12345678. Can you crack the code? There are 17 spaces. After reading the number out loud slowly, you get it. You type number 2, then number 4 three times, 5 sixes, and 7 eighths. The light changes to green, and the door is unlocked. You're in a long and gloomy metal corridor. You want to run, but you force yourself to stay quiet. You're getting close, and you're trying to be as careful and silent as possible. But when you suddenly face a huge and gloomy man standing in front of the next door, your heart drops. You want to run away, but you freeze just right where you are. He's definitely noticed you. You stand speechless, expecting him to grab and handcuff you or knock you unconscious. But instead, he asks, where are you going? You don't know why, but you tell the truth. I want to find my sister. She's 17, blonde. Ah, I've seen her, the man says. 
she's in this room. They always ignore me and never want to solve my riddles. Um, you know, if you solve one of my riddles, I'll let you go. You feel such a relief that you can only nod in response. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? A very poetic riddle, but pretty straightforward. It's the letter M. The man smiles and moves to the side, letting you go. You run into the room. Finally, there's your sister. She has her arms and legs tied, and her mouth is sealed. But then, you look around and see two more of your sisters looking precisely the same. It's another trap. You have to decide which sister is the real one. And if you touch the wrong person, the sirens will sound. Can you choose the right sister? Before your sister was kidnapped, you were outside in the rain together. Your sister is the one with the smeared mascara. You reach the girl right in front of you, and the look of relief on her face immediately proves you made the right choice. You untie her hands and legs, unseal her mouth, and she gives you a hug. You grab her hand, and you leave the room together. But here's the riddle man again, and you'll have to solve another one of his riddles. Well, now you have two brains instead of one. Ready? When you take the hole from me, there's still some left. What am I? Both you and your sister answer wholesome. The man smiles again and lets you go. Now you have to find the exit, and you have no idea where to go. You randomly take turns and, in the end, you get lost in the building's labyrinth. After half an hour of wandering around, you realize that you've been going around in circles. You admit that you're lost and can't find a way out. Suddenly, from each of the three directions before you, a man appears. Each man says he was kidnapped too, but escaped and will show you the exit, while the other two men are guardians and will lead you back to your kidnappers. Who should you trust? You notice that the second man has bruises from the handcuffs on his arms, so you decide to believe him. You look at your sister and realize that she noticed it too. You nod, and each of you walks towards one of the other two, and unexpectedly for them, knock them out. The man gives you thumbs up and tells you to follow him. You're back in the labyrinth again, taking turns over and over. Does he really know where to go? How much time did he spend here? You even start worrying if you made the right choice, but then you bump into a massive metal door. To open it, you need to enter the password. But lucky you, there's a hint again. The note is saying 5th of March, 1st of October, 2nd of April, 4th of November. That's why the man was wandering around looking for someone. He couldn't crack the code. Can you? The 5th of March means the fifth letter of the word, March, which is H. Similarly, the first letter of October is O, the 2nd of April is P, and the 4th of November is E. The password is HOPE. You type it and yes, it works! Great job! The lock clicks and you pull the heavy door open. You did it! You are outside once more. It's early morning, so you spent the whole night inside. But wait, can you hear it? Footsteps! They're after you, and you have to run to a safe place immediately. There are three ways. On the left, there's a dark forest. Straight, there's a city. And on the right, a lake. Which way will you choose?
you should definitely run straight to the city where there are people around. So, what are you waiting for? Run! Here's a quick joke. Two geniuses are walking down the street. One genius says to the other, Hey, you look down in the dumps. What's the gray matter? I didn't say it was a good joke. Okay, you big brain person you, here's another challenging quandary of riddles to solve. Ted is a lucky game show winner. He can pick one of the three prizes. A brand new Mercedes, a Louis Vuitton purse, or a MacBook. Which one should he choose? Think carefully, he can only get one prize. Look at the Mercedes. Its logo is wrong, so it must be fake. The same goes for the purse. That's what Louis Vuitton's real logo looks like. But the MacBook seems to be okay, at least at first sight. So let's go for it. A car thief appeared in a little town. Every night, a car went missing. First, it was Mr. Smith's red vehicle. The next day, it was Mr. Holmes' pink car. And last night, it was Mrs. Tanner's white Ford. The town's detective is going to stop the criminal. Take a look at the four cars that are still out there and help the man understand which car is going to be stolen next. There are four cars left. Yellow, blue, green, and black. The first car that was stolen was red. The word red has three letters. The next one was pink. There are four letters in pink. The third vehicle was white, and the word white has five letters. It means the next car to be stolen is going to be yellow, because there are six letters in this word, as best I can count. Mr. Jones was going on vacation. In the evening of his last day at work, he cleaned up his office and left, taking the key with him. When the man came back two weeks later, he immediately realized someone had broken into his office while he had been gone. How did he figure it out? Mr. Jones cleaned everything and took out the trash. But have a look at the garbage can now. There's some paper inside. Esme got lost in the forest. She was wandering around all day long and couldn't find a way out. Finally, at dusk, she saw a spooky house where a witch lived. Esme had nowhere else to go, so she entered the house and asked the witch to help her. The witch offered Esme to play a game. I'll tell you a riddle. If you get the answer right, I'll take you out of the forest. But if you make a mistake, I'll keep you here as my maid forever. Esme had no choice but to agree. Here's what the witch said. It has cities, but doesn't have a single house. It has mountains, but not a single tree. It has water, but no fish. What is it? Can you help Esme? It's a map! Students got an assignment for their summer break. They had to start learning a new language. It could be any language they like. When a new semester started, the teacher asked the students how it had been going. Mark said he had been learning Brazilian and enjoying it. Genevieve said she'd chosen Ukrainian. Ben said he had been learning Arabic. It turned out to be very hard, but interesting. But the teacher didn't believe one of the students. Who was lying? She didn't believe Mark, who had said he had been studying Brazilian. There's no Brazilian language. People speak Portuguese in Brazil. Oliver came back home and found a love letter in his mailbox. It was a very sweet one. But the sender didn't write their name. However, there was a little note at the end. J plus 1, B minus 1, R plus 2, H minus 3. Oliver has four suspects. Jane, Alex, Leah, and Kate. Can you tell which one of them wrote the love letter to Oliver?
The note is the hint, of course, and the alphabet is the key. J plus 1 means the next letter in the alphabet, which is K. B minus 1 means one letter before B, which is A. Two letters after R is T. And finally, three letters before H, there's E. So, the secret admirer is Kate. While a very rich gentleman was having his three-month vacation, three months, his mansion was burgled. The police were notified and the detectives started the investigation. There were three people caught on the security camera. They were interrogated. Max, the owner's old friend, said he had come several times to collect the mail. Gwen, the housemaid, said she had visited three days before to clean the house. Ronnie, the gardener, said he had been coming every week to take care of the garden. All of them denied stealing anything. But the detective didn't believe one of them. Who was lying? He didn't believe Gwen. She said she'd cleaned the house three days before. But look around. There's dust and dark stains everywhere. It doesn't look like it's been cleaned recently. So she must be lying. A long time ago, in Norway, a princess was taken away. She was locked in a small room on a tiny island in the middle of a huge lake. Even if she managed to get out of the room, she wouldn't be able to reach the shore. On the island, there were no trees or any tools she could use. It means she couldn't build a boat. And still, half a year later, the princess managed to escape and returned home all by herself. How did she do it? It happened in Norway. It's cold there in the winter. As soon as the lake froze over, the princess walked on the ice and escaped. Mrs. Brown called the hospital and said her husband had been hurt. When the doctor arrived, she led him to the bathroom. The man was lying on the floor inside. She said the bathroom door had been opened, and she saw everything when it happened. Her husband was washing his hands but slipped and hit his head on the sink. The doctor didn't believe her and called the police. Why? Look at how the man's lying. His head is on the opposite side of the sink. He couldn't have fallen like that. A tired mother of three daughters came home late after work. She found the kitchen all messy. It seemed one of her daughters made a sandwich but didn't clean after herself. The mother walked upstairs and found all three of them doing their homework. She asked who had made the sandwich, but all the girls, Hannah, Della, and Emily, denied making one. Still, the mother could tell who was lying. Look at the kitchen and the girls carefully. Who do you think is guilty? And how did the mother understand who was lying? There's some butter on the right side of the knife. It means the person who made the sandwich is left-handed. There's only one left-handed girl in the family, and that's Emily. So it must have been her. All the money from the city's bank was stolen right in the middle of the day. But no one noticed that. Several days later, the room where the money used to be stored was found completely empty. There was just one note saying 7718. The police arrested the three most known criminals in the city, Bill, Mark, and Cole. But the officers didn't know which of them was guilty. They invited a famous detective to crack the mysterious note. And he managed to do it immediately. Can you do it too? Turn the paper upside down. This way, the numbers turn into a name, Bill. He must be the culprit. Now wait. If Bill isn't quite that dumb to name himself, did someone else frame Bill for the robbery? Hey, just thinking out loud here. Moving on. Devian found his friend Aaron in his room. The guy was poisoned. Devian called the police. When the officers arrived, he told them he had been walking past Oliver's house and noticed the light in his room was on. 
He came up to the window to check who was inside. His friend or his brother. It was cold and there was frost on the window. So he wiped it away to see who was inside. When Devian saw Oliver lying on the floor, he called the police. The officers didn't believe the guy and immediately arrested him. Why? Devian said he'd wipe the frost off the window to see better, but he couldn't possibly do it. Frost forms on the inner surface of the window. Now, let's check how well you know logos. In each pair, you'll have to pick the correct one. What does the Apple logo look like? Try to recall the one on Ted's MacBook. The second logo is correct. Okay, here's Instagram. Do you remember what its icon looks like? Yes, this small dot must be in the right corner. So the first logo is correct. I bet you see it every day. What's the real Google logo? It's the second one. First, the red O, then the yellow one. Which one is the correct Burger King logo? Of course, it's the second one. Now I'm hungry. If you play video games, you must know it. If not, well, try yourself. Which PlayStation logo is correct? The second one. Okay, now, a tough one. Which TikTok logo is correct? It's the first one. Check it out if you don't believe me. 